Okay, the floor is yours. Yeah, hello everyone. I'm Hyo Yang Jung, a fifth year PhD student in University of Texas in Austin. So today I'm going to share with you about my project topic, which is modular and reconfigurable stretchable e tattoo with wireless power and data communication. Yeah. So my presentation will go over this way. I first uh, briefly talk about my specific aims and state of the art papers. Then I will talk about research progress in detail. Then I will wrap up my presentation. So nowadays, the wireless communications, including near field communication and far field, such as Bluetooth, technology is widely used to measure body signals or to control electronic appliances. And then soft bioelectronics, also widely researched to make ultra thin and ultra light and conformable skin-like electronics. Electronics, yeah. And my goal is using both two concepts with wireless communication and soft electronics. <laughs> Last time we switched it back and then it worked. All oh, right. You remember? Yeah. Yes. Let's try once more here. Start again. Okay. So my core is using these two kind of concepts, wireless communication and soft bioelectronics to make a personalized wireless multifunctional biosensor. So, so far there are many papers using near field communication are published from 2014, but these papers are targeted to only measure body temperature or optical signals. And when it comes to the far field, uh, such as Bluetooth application for soft electronics, also published it. And these papers are have more functional, like measuring electrophysiology, including brain signal or heart signal or muscle signals with this kind of small, flexible, and ultra, ultra thin form factor. But this small form factors looks like wearable and very small, but actually it needs bulky external systems looks like that, including a power generator and the DC power supply to power the small devices and also communicate with, with the major signal with the small devices. And the the devices are also not adjustable, so the functionality is limited. And most devices are fabricated in the clean room with a photolithography and chemical etching and metal deposition. Even it's a uh, one-time use. So my goal is to make something fully wireless without external systems and has having a multimodality, also fabricated in clean room process Plenum free process with a reusability. So that patches my research topic. I will show you in detail the later slide. So to make that patch, I need to use the near field and far field, both of them, to leverage the advantage of near field, which is the low power consumption, and also the advantage of Bluetooth, which is far operating range and wide data transfer rate. So both of them, today I want to show you two different patches, which is passive mode, the battery-free NFC-enabled patch, and the second one is active mode, 
which has small battery and NFC and Bluetooth enabled tattoo. So as a first one, such modular and con reconfigurable NFE tattoo looks like that. It composes of uh, several layers. So the first top layer, including reusable NFC layer, which can harvest from the smartphone. So once you close the smartphone to the patch, it can power by the smartphone energy. And the major signal also the transfer back to the smartphone. Then the middle layer is a replaceable functional layer, which can measure skin temperature, electrocardiogram, skin hydration, and pulse oximetry, depending on which functional layer you assemble it together. And to make this top layer and middle layer the reusable, the bottom layer is designed as a disposable with an electrode layer. So my patch looks like that. So to make it stretchable, I apply the serpentine pattern to the whole pattern. So it can be stretchable up to 30% and also bendable and twistable. Uh, when it comes to the overall dimension, the size looks like a credit card, but it's much thinner than credit card. And the outer antenna, which is inductive coiling part, is designed to have enough inductance to have uh, enough working distance as a passive mode without battery inside. And to make it possible, I also uh, invented very cost and time effective soft electronic fabrication, so called cut solder paste method. So this method can be applied for any kind of thin film material with a cutting process. So we can cut any pattern with 200 micrometer resolution. So after the cutting, we can transfer this pattern to the temporary substrate for soldering. So after soldering, we can finally transfer pattern to the transparent and soft and stretchable medical tape. And thanks to this uh, medical tape, which is a self-adhesive at the bottom layer, it can be easily assembled each other and also easily disassemble. So by using this technology, I proposed a modular and reconfiguration design. So because only one single layer electric circuit is almost nothing because electric circuit normally need multiple connections to each other. So I, so I introduced this small via pattern to connect each layer. So this kind of configuration can overcome the footprint limitation of my uh, pattern resolution, also can add any replaceable multiple functionality with a reusability to make the bottom layer as a disposable. And after fabrication, I use the top layer, which is NFC energy harvesting layer, and various kind of the middle layer, which has different functionality, also disposable electro electrode layer, which can apply directly on the skin. So depending on any combination, the user can select the functionality and with different kind of mm, multiple fun uh, functionality. And to verify the stretchability, I tested multiple mechanical deformation. And to make this possible, I actually have by a finite, finite element method. So after, after several times of iteration of final FEM method and the real experiment, I can optimize the mechanical property which have the best mechanical property of the circuit. And basically, this uh, electronic tattoo is a wireless communication device, 
I also verify the electromagnetic properties. So by optimizing the inductance, resistance, and capacitance of the patch, I can make an uh, electrode patch which has only 5% shifting even on the 30% strain. Also around 5% Q-factor shifting on the 30% shift of strain. And with this optimized, with this mechanically and electrically optimized electronic patch, I tried to measure the multiple biometric signals, which including electrocardiogram, a pulse oximetry, and skin temperature, and also skin hydration. So depending on the location you put this patch, you can measure cardio signal and oxygen saturation signal, and skin temperature, and the skin hydration. So to verify the reusability, I also tested the assemble and disassemble more than 20%, uh, 20 times iteration. Then after 20 times repeat, assemble and disassemble, the wireless transfer data also stable without any electrical malfunction. So, so far I uh, showed about the passive mode, which is a battery free electronic tattoo. So now I want to show you the active mode, which has the small backup battery, but also can be powered, fully powered with the NFC uh, standard protocol. Also, to have a better operating range, also to have a why the data bandwidth? I also in introduced the Bluetooth standard protocol. But because the passive mode is always need the reader attachment in around seven centimeter, so it's a kind of very huge limitation to make continuous and real time biometrics. So I think about if we can power the NFC using NFC to the Bluetooth, we can basically using the Bluetooth data rate in the operating range, which can means we can, we can measure more high uh, rate with a oper more further operating range. So to make it, I introduced the Bluetooth low energy IC on the tattoo form factor, and I integrate the NFC charging layer with a rechargeable battery. And then this sensing modules is a different layer, which can be freely assembled and disassembled, depending on user's need. So use this one. So this signal is the real-time and continuous ECG signal and the accelerometer signal. So this tattoo basically don't need the close the power source because there is a backup battery. So it means we can measure the high sampling rate biometrics with a 24 hours, seven days manner. So with this uh, NFC and Bluetooth enabled e tattoo, I try to measure more high, more high uh, sampling rate biometrics, which is ECG and SCG. And SCG is basically measuring the mechanical vibration of the heart, heart valve opening and closing. And also, if we align this ECG specific peak with the SCG specific peak, we can also estimate the blood pressure in real time continuously. So I'm actually uh, still working on this blood pressure estimation, but the old hardware is already done, like this movie. So the first movie shows the subject is wearing the NFC Brutus E pattern and the, and the ECG data is, is continuously and real time measured and the accelerometer is working wirelessly. Even we can put this patch on the water bottle. And when it comes to the working distance, it's more than 
20 meter because it's based on the Bluetooth data bandwidth and the Bluetooth operating range. To summarize my research, so I propose the cost and time effective uh, cut and cut solder paste method, which is clean room free and chemical free, free from fabrication method. And I introduced the modular and reconfigurable design, which can overcome footprint limitation, also can add any functionality depending on user's need. So based on this concept platform, I propose the wireless electronic tattoos. And to verify this tattoo, I tested the stretchability test, also electromagnetic property test. And based on this optimized electronic tattoo, I can successfully measure multiple biometrics, including skin temperature, skin hydration, electrocardiogram, and oxygen level. Is a passive mode, also it's ECG and SCG to estimate the blood pressure, also the motion, si motion signal from the accelerometer, as an active mode. So this is my group in UT Austin. And this is the last slide I prepared so far. So I actually uh, prepare the rear patch so that you can feel this form factors and lightweight. So also while I'm uh, having a presentation, my Bluetooth, NFC Bluetooth patch also working together. So it can be easily connected to this, any smartphone and measure this accelerometer signal X, Y, and G axis. And the first column is my ECG signal, but yeah, I didn't. If I put this one to my chest, the ECG signal also is measured together. Yeah, that's all I prepare today. Thank you, Ho Young. <laughs> we have time for questions. Yes, Diego. Yes, so thanks a lot. Very interesting. So I would like to ask you, um, so you develop certain fabrication technologies and methods, and then you decide to apply it for the electronic tattoo, no, to measure some uh, biosignals. Mm -hmm. Now, can you envisage some, in the end, some application where actually those type of tattoo are either better used or can perform better than any kind of commercial uh, smartwatch that mm -hmm. every one of us may have? Yeah, like a Apple Watch. Apple Watch can measure ECG signals using two hand, but my uh, the goal is to make a wireless soft electronics, which has a very cost and time effective method, which I show you today. Because I use only $300 mechanical plotter to cut the pattern. But basically that Apple Watch or other PCB or other some soft electronics using clean room based method, which have pretty expensive time and Yes, um, cost consuming process. So the first thing of my uh, research is the fabrication method, the cost and time effective way. Thank you, nice talk. I have two connected questions. One is about fab, the other one is about powering. Can you elaborate a little bit more on this uh, cut solder paste method is it labor intensive are you doing it by hand or is it somehow automated and well, for for powering can you tell us like what wavelength and what power are you actually using uh yeah when it comes to the cutting the resolution is only 200 micrometer width 
So this is, uh, this is basically the limitation of the cutter. The oh, it's a mechanical cutter, okay. which is basically for ta tattoo cutting, mm -hmm. the cutting paper. So you can buy it easily from Amazon with a $300. So 200 micrometer width is the limitation of the cutter. But if you buy the more expensive device like a laser cutter, you can make several micrometer width patterning. And, and soldering? Do you do it by hand? Soldering is actually by hand. Okay. Yeah, it's actually by hand. Yeah. So all the advantage is good hand. But the soldering is uh, it's done on the hot plate. So the alignment of the each component is by hand. And, and the powering? Powering is using NFC a standard protocol, which is 13.56 megahertz. Mega okay. So our, because our smartphone normally have NFC technology, we can charge the battery with smartphone, and we can power that tattoo with smartphone. Thank you, very interesting. So my question is uh, on the battery. How long is, does the battery last? And um, do you have any like uh, memory on chip so you could actually, for example, log the ECG for multiple hours uh, at a time or you need to connect it to the uh, NFC of the phone in order to do that? Uh, when it comes to the battery consumption, the NFC should have, NFC has basically the memory inside. So you can measure, and you can store the, the measure signals on the chip. But basically, NFC have to be made very close with uh, the power source reader. So it doesn't, mm, oh sorry, what about your second question? Yeah, the second question is how long does the battery last? And this, the second one was uh, if you how many hours can you log the like a bio, biological signals for? Right. So because of this NFC, it has to be close with the, the reader. It doesn't need any battery. But when it comes to the Bluetooth and NFC, it has to. It has a battery. And it can charge in 70 minutes. And it can operate more than one and a half hours. Thank you. I had a question regarding the, the mechanical modeling that you did, the finite element modeling for the... Uh, what did you exactly uh, take as assumptions? Because it's a very thin layer, so it's, it's, uh, there might be some effects due to this, uh, the, the size of the cells that you choose and things like that. And also, what did you optimize? Then it's the, the waviness and the, the shape of the, of the circuits? So uh, this... The finite element method is our. It's done by our group collaborator, so I'm yeah I'm not very familiar with very detail about the element each side, but based on the iteration of finite element method, I can verify that the stress distribution. So I want to make the stress distribution should be done in overall times. It cannot be focusing on one point because that point can be broken first. So after several times FEM and design, and FEM design, FEM design, I can optimize the pattern. Because the, the two from the top and the bottom, they look the same. So I was wondering oh. what, what is it that you change? It's the, it's the uh, so it's the, the angle or the, the, the radius of the loops? Right. I basically changing the radius and the length of the pattern. If, if I may, yeah, very fascinating. I like this a lot. Would there be any benefit of having multiple patches uh, all, all over the body? Let's say five, ten. Of course, you would win redundancy, but maybe you can even gather more information: gradients of temperature, time delays of conduction of, let's say, the ECG. W would it be beneficial, or would have you thought about it? Uh, so, you asking about the multiple patches? At the same time? Yes, and, and communicating between those to share information and possibly checking time delays or gradients of temperature, of humidity. 
uh, just thinking aloud, looks to me there could be uh, a nice information to have like distributed sensing. Mm -hmm. But for oh uh, yeah, for the skin temperature, because skin temperature does need to have some high some sampling rate. But for the ECG or so EMG or some brain signals need very high sampling rate. So if we can merge this EMG or ECG, also the SPO2, which is oxygen level in our growth, we can use each specific some peak from the SPO2 and ECG, and also some other EMG or EEG. Then based on that multiple signals, we can also estimate something other mm -hmm. biometrics. So in yeah, based on that value, it could be very, very low. OK, thanks. Yeah. So I have a very simple question. Is it comfortable to wear the patch? <laughs> is it comfortable? Is it easy or how comfortable it is to wear the, your patch on, your, on the body anywhere? It's, yeah, it's very comfortable because the, uh, as you can feel, the backside is sticky part. So you can very you can just peel it off and you can try it on your skin. Yeah, but if it's like a layer of uh, uh, glue or uh, we put on the skin, uh, I, I won't feel. Yeah, because it's off. only 190 micrometer thickness, mm -hmm. it's very easily conform. Yeah, based okay. on your skin. So it's. So how long does it stay there? Oh, I tried one week. One week after shower and after three everything. Okay. So okay. that. Actually, the medical patch is uh, approved. The patch mm -hmm. is from the 3M, so it's very I see. stable. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Hey, let's thank uh, Hyo Jung one more time. <laughs> Thanks for coming.